A scuffle ensued on the House floor in Austin, Texas, after House members were debating SB4. Now, this is legislation that was signed into law by Governor Greg Abbott that essentially bans sanctuary cities in the state of Texas. Now, as lawmakers got together, there was a protest outside with constituents showing that they were extremely upset that this had now become law. It does ban sanctuary cities, allows police to question anyone they detain about their immigration status and compels local officials to comply with federal requests to detain individuals in state and local law enforcement facilities. Now, as this protest was happening, a lawmaker by the name of Representative Matt Rinaldi decided to go up to his fellow Democrats and essentially threaten the protesters. Here's what Representative Philip Cortez said. We were just on the floor talking about SB4 protests and State Representative Matt Rinaldi came up to us and made it a point to say, Quote, I called ICE on all of them. And this is completely unacceptable. We will not be intimidated. We will not be disrespected. So Rinaldi sees uh, some Latino protesters and thinks, yeah, they must be illegals. He, he, by the way, I don't even believe for a second that they were all Latino protesters, right? He just saw protesters who were speaking out against SB4, and he just assumed that they're all undocumented immigrants. Yeah, that's, by the way, so preposterous. You think undocumented immigrants show up to a government building with signs? <laughs> okay, I, you know, is it possible that one person there was? I don't know, right? But certainly Rinaldi doesn't know. How the hell would you know by just looking at him? He sees Latinos and goes, oh yeah, the illegals. And then turns around and goes, well, what, what racism? I don't know, I see brown people and I call the government and tell them to remove them from my country, having no idea if they have papers, don't have papers. Yeah. I don't know, I just, I, I'm calling it like I see it. Yeah, I know, you, that's, that, that's the problem. So Representative Ramon Romero Jr. says he saw the crowd and he saw illegals. He saw people that, whether he likes to accept it or not, in his heart, he has hate for those people and he wants to see them gone. He wants to see them gone so much to the point that he called ICE. Now things got super heated on the house floor to the point where cue the video all of a sudden things started to get you know it at least appears things started to get a little physical no one's throwing punches or anything but everyone gets together and and, and starts arguing apparently uh, there were some threats as well representative Justin Rodriguez says there was a threat made from representative Rinaldi to put a bullet in one of my colleagues heads that kind of threatening language he needs to be called out and held accountable for okay so uh, Rinaldi responded back to that and said no someone threatened my life it's impossible to tell who's telling the truth and who's lying. But this did lead to some constituents calling Democratic lawmakers in Texas and essentially threatening them or saying really hideous things about immigrants. So let's go to the video from Representative Cesar Blanco. He's He shared this on Twitter. It was one of the constituents calling and sharing his thoughts on immigrants. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. I stand with Matt Rinaldi and fuck the illegal alien sticks. Okay, thank you very much, sir. White power. Okay. Yeah, they seem quite thoughtful. Yeah. Um, don't thank him. That was such a democratic thing to do, by the like, way. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you okay. said something ter oh. horrible and heinous. Thank you very much thank for you, calling. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. No. no. Go fuck yourself. How yeah, about that? That, that would have been another way yeah. to go. <laughs> I, I I know that's not the democratic way. Um, okay. So look, R Rinaldi says, oh, they threatened me first. That's why you know. According to the other legislators, threatened to put a bullet in another legislator's head. Problematic, right? Mm -hmm. um, Rinaldi says, I mean, I thought maybe somebody in the crowd was saying that they were illegal. Why would they say that? Right? Like you can choose to believe anyone you want. And if you're a right winger, you're gonna believe Rinaldi. But it's it's a weird thing for one of the protesters to randomly be like, I'm illegal. No, I mean, look, I think I think that that's actually a possibility because in some uh, protests and demonstrations, people who are not documented. Undocumented immigrants will try to, you know, be courageous and come out there and say, "Look, I'm undocumented. Do I look like a threat to you?" You know, they're trying to make a point. So goes, that's a possibility. Yeah, Ronaldo's saying, "Of course you do. You're brown." <laughs> so he called ICE on all of them. But look, the reason I bring that up is, so if you want to hang on to a fig leaf pretense for that, that's fine. But what Ronaldo's actually trying to do is intimidate people. So if you show up and you're Latino or you're gonna protest me, I'm gonna call ICE on you. And I don't care if you are or are not undocumented, I have no way of proving or unproving that, right? Or disproving mm -hmm. that. And I, I claim somebody said that, whether they did or not, you can't prove that, right? So, but what I'm gonna do is once I call ICE, 
I'm gonna have them clear all of you guys out. And you're gonna be guilty until proven innocent. So then, I mean, do you carry your papers around with you? I don't even know, what is that? like? My birth certificate, where the hell is my birth certificate? I don't know, do you know? I think one of the more important things to take away from this story is while Republicans like to pretend like they're tough guys, in reality, they're gigantic pussies, right? Wow. Because here's, here's, what a, here's what a strong person does not do. See a protester or a protest and then get so like up in arms about it that you have to call federal officials to deal with it, right? That's what a pussy does, right? You can't handle people protesting. You're that much of a weak man that you can't handle people practicing their constitutional rights and protesting legislation that you might have supported. You can't handle that. It hurts your feelings that bad. You're a pussy. And and it's an un-American move. Uh, when the Tea Party does protests, they're like, oh, that's good American citizens. Oh, yeah, I love that, right? Uh, when people they don't agree with do protest, like, oh my God, call the officials, call the feds, call ICE. So which one is it? Look, by the way, we are consistent. Tea Party, have at it, Hoss. Of course you can do protests. I, 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 if the tea, somebody in the Tea Party decided they were going to sit for the national anthem because they were upset at what happened in the, for, to the Bundys, okay, that's your right. You're an American. You want to go do a protest? That's God bless. Just. Don't bring weapons and point it at cops, which is what the guys at the Bundy Ranch did, and they did it in Oregon. See, could you imagine if these protesters in Texas showed up with brought guns. weapons right. and pointed it at the officials? How quickly would they have been imprisoned? Right? Or they're like, no, no, we're just going to take over this federal government building for a couple of months. <laughs> it's not how it would have worked, and you know. We're not the Young Turks, you're the Young Turks. You power this show. Together, we built something amazing. We've broken stories like the Donna Brazil story, the mainstream media wouldn't break. We built the studio, we built this network, it's now number one, all thanks to you guys. Let's come build it even bigger and stronger, tytnetwork.com slash join.